Today I'm going to be talking about algorithms. Algorithms are methods of breaking down numbers or systems for doing multiplications. I'm going to be using what I consider the easiest ones, things that can be easily learned because they're naturally contrived. Let me first show the example. I'm going to do one. I'm going to write this down and I'm going to put it on the screen for you to see. This is going to be 28 times 4. What you're going to start with is the 2 times 4 is 8 and have that one number. And you can write that on the top on the left side. Then you're going to do 8 times 4 is 32. And then you're going to take the 3 from 32 and add it to the 8, makes 11, and you have a 2 left over. And so that's the answer. Okay, it's 1, 1, 2. Next, I'm going to do, let's do 51 times 46. This one, what you're going to do, you're going to look at the numbers on the left, 5 times 4, and you're going to say that's 20. And just put down the 2, forget about the 0. Then you're going to look at the 4 times 1 and 5 times 6 and say 34. And then write down 34. Next, you're going to look at the far right and you see 1 times 6 and that's 6. So you put down the 6 and that's the answer. Very simple to do. Now, let's go on to a 3 by 2 calculation. This time you're going to have 261 times 43. And I'm going to post on the board in a way I'm going to leave the numbers kind of lining up naturally and leaving the 1 kind of hanging over. Okay, So what you have here are basically pairs that show you how your mind can work the numbers out with that 1 extra 1 kind of hanging over on the right. So starting with the left side, you would go 2 times 4 is 8. And you can write down 8 on top. And then you're going to do a little bit of a cross. So this time you're going to go 4 times 6 is 24. And then you're going to go 2 times 3 is 6. So 24 and 6 is 30. So that makes the 3. You have to write the 30 on top next to the 8. And then add the 3 to the 8 and that's going to be 11 with a 0 left over. Okay. Then you're going to look at the 1. You're going to say 1 times 4 is 4 and 6 times 3 is 18. So 18 and 4 is 22. You're going to put the you're going to just cover that 0 with the 22. All right? And then what's left over is going to be 1 times 3 and you write down the 3 and that's your answer, okay? Pretty simple to do. Now, what about doing one that's even larger? Let's do uh, 3 by 3 this time. Okay, so think of easy numbers. We're going to start with, let's say, 4, 2, 1 times 3, let's say uh, 5, and we'll use a 6. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to put it on the board so you can see this. You can see how this, this algorithm really works to um, break the number down. First thing we're going to do is look at the 4 times 3, and that's 12. So write down 12, and that's the first part. Then you're going to do a cross. You're going to do 3 times 2 is 6, and 20. 4 times 5 is 20, so that's going to be 26. Now, instead of writing down the 26, you simply make the 2 into a 4, and then write down the 6. So now you have 1, 4, 6. Then you're going to do a long cross. You're going to take 4 times 1, excuse me, um, 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 6 is 24. So 24 and 3 is 27. And you have uh, 10, 2 times 5, so that's 37. So instead of writing down 37, you're going to make this, the uh, 6 into a 9, and then write down the 7. So you, now you have 14, 97. Then you're going to do a very short um, cross here. Uh, 5 times 1 is 5, and 6 times 2 is 12, so that's 17. And instead of putting down the 1 for the 17, you simply turn that 7 into an 8, and put down the 7. And then your last part is uh, 1 times 6 is 6, and you write down the 6. So your answer is 1, 4, 9, 
eight seven six. See that is to do. Okay, so these things. I mean, if you if you get into any kind of thing where you're you're doing long complicated steps to get these answers, then I think you're doing yourself a disservice. It's very important that you understand that when you're doing algorithms, um, they should help you. Okay, they shouldn't hurt you. So I'm going to basically um, end this, but. I'm going to give you one little caveat, okay? You have to practice these things every day because when it comes to doing math or any kind of uh, learned skill, if you don't practice it, then it won't become something that you're going to naturally go towards. And in school, remember back in the day when you were taught your ABCs and you were taught to count and you were excited about it. And you practice all the time and you talk to your parents, hey, you know, I can count to 10. A lot of times you see kids and they're, they're going one, two, three, six, seven. They say, no, you made a mistake. But they're excited about it and they practice all the time. But as adults, we tend to, to do things and then we, we let it go away. So I'm going to implore you to continue to practice these things and watch my videos. And thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.